Welcome back to World Challenge 2009, the series featuring 12 innovative projects that BBC World News viewers nominated for giving something back to the community. Remember, your votes will decide which of these ideas will win a cash award. Visit theworldchallenge.co.uk to find out how you can decide which of these is contributing the most to the environment while boosting local incomes. Livestock is responsible for 18% of all greenhouse gas emissions, more than all the world's transport. Now a team from the UK may have a solution, a feed additive that makes cows produce more milk and less gas. Livestock produces something like 33 billion tonnes of greenhouse gas a year, and about a third is from cows. The trouble with methane is that it's 21 times more damaging a greenhouse gas than CO2. Where does it come from? A cow's got four stomachs. Grass gets chewed and sent to the biggest, the rumen. Bacteria in the cow's gut help break down the grass, but produce methane, which goes down the waste plumbing to come out at the rear of the cow. Actually, more comes out of the animal's mouth as it gently chews the cud. Either way, it's greenhouse gas. But can anything be done? Well, there's one idea. It's called Mutral. Mutral is a very simple idea. It's a product that helps reduce carbon emissions from the livestock industry. Uh, the product is an actual derivative of a natural ingredient, garlic, and from it we make a feed additive that is given to the cows. It helps them digest and therefore helps reduce the methane emissions that emanate from the cows themselves. Somebody's got to investigate cow farting, you know. Professor Jamie Newbold is a microbiologist who knows just how much methane they make and how reducing this can actually increase milk production. Well, in terms of methane, we'll get uh, about 500 litres out of this young lady and about 80% of that's got to come out that mouth and the remaining 20% out the back end. So what we're looking for is a win-win scenario whereby we can reduce methane, which reduces the greenhouse gas effect, but we can also produce more energy into the milk. And that's what drove our interest to try and look at different strategies to decrease methane production by cattle. Adding garlic essence to the grass changes the chemical process in the cow's stomach. It improves the efficiency of digestion, making less methane and more milk. We start off by taking whole garlic, which I buy at the local wholesale market. I'm known as Mr. Garlic or the garlic man there. We then, in fact, peel it, we'll weigh the garlic. Dr. David Williams has been extracting the essence of garlic ever since he found how to isolate allicin, the very volatile part that reduces methane. It's important that this doesn't get too hot. The smell of garlic is allicin, and this is really what we're looking for. It is the active agent. Not only is it a very good antibacterial agent, but it's an insect repellent as well. It's this antibacterial effect that is thought to rearrange the chemistry of a cow's gut by limiting the bacteria that makes methane. Cows didn't create global warming. That was mankind through his contribution. What we can do, however, is we can make a reduction in greenhouse gases from cows and, as I say, in doing so, increase the productivity. We take a sample like that into a small vial. We'll then, in fact, take a, set, a standard amount of that liquid. There you go, keep it stirring. All right. And dilute it 100 times to get us to our standard concentration. This will now go into the HPLC machine, into position one in the auto changer. This one is one of the uh, reaction products produced when we produce allicine. It's known as pyrubic acid. We have some secret ingredients that we put into it, which are our secrets. <laughs> after 15 minutes, yes. Yeah, after 15 minutes, we spin it. Just slow that down there. Let me see it's pulled. 
all the sediment and the protein of the plant matter down to the base of the cylinder and that's clarified and ready to go to the customer. I think in fact we know it's, it's going to work. We're confident that it's going to work. Just how well it'll work I think is yet to be determined but we're starting now at sort of 15 to 20 percent reduction and that represents about one and a half litres of milk per cow per day and we think we can probably push it up to 50 percent without any detriment to the actual cow itself. These chambers were put in place to measure energy metabolism of cows and methane is a very important component of the energy losses from the feed that a cow is fed. At Reading University, Dr Chris Reynolds will be feeding cows with added allicin and measuring how much or how little methane they emit. These are called respiration chambers. They're basically boxes that we put the cows in, we then seal them up, and then we're able to obtain very precise measurements of methane production from the dairy cows. So the air is flowing through these exhaust pipes, and we have flow meters that are measuring the flow rate of air through these pipes, and we also have sampling ports. So we're taking samples of the air from the exhaust air from the chamber and also from the air coming into the chamber from outside, and we're then taking that air and putting it through these analyzers that you can see through here. Okay? And these analyzers are then telling us the concentration of carbon dioxide, of methane, and of oxygen. There is good evidence that there is an effect. We don't know all the answers. And the whole program that we're working on now and what we want to do in the future is to make certain that the science is good. And it's science that'll find out if the resulting milk tastes or smells of garlic. At the University of Wales, there's a brand new facility to test for just such tainting of food. And Neem Biotech, with their garlic milk, will be the first customer. One is the milk produced by cows who are eating the animal feed with garlic in. Okay, Putting the samples into the little cubicle, so when the taste testers come in, they don't see anything this side, they wouldn't see me. So far, no one can tell the difference, but the research continues. There is suspicion. We still need to do those final tests, and we've agreed with a few corporations and multinationals to carry out those tests to make sure that your chocolate, your milk, or your yogurt will not smell or taste like garlic. Where, in fact, we have validated methane reductions, we will be generating carbon credits, which we will sell to participating companies. That's the model we're trying to work and trying to develop. Whatever we can do, I think we need to do for the sake of our children. So that's why we believe that Mucho is a winner. It's a global winner. It's simple, it's scalable, it's sustainable, and the effects are immediate after the product is given to, to, to the cows. <laughs> All of the prize money will be given to, to, the, to, the, to the final stages of the research and development of Mutual.